Hi. The book I have for you today is called Swimming. What I really like about this book is the illustrations because it looks like looks like just painting and also like like he stamped with paint like you could make a little a little and these look like they're the same material that they put in the paint and then stamped with it so that might be something that you could do at home you could um, get some paint and make some stamps out of anything that you find in your house. Um, I know I showed you the Legos that I did and then um, you could just find any kind of a toy or um, a piece of material or some lace or something like that. This looks to me on the back it looks like lace. That would be a fun thing to do. Swimming. Swimming. A happy school of little fish lived in the corner of the sea somewhere. They were all red. Only one of them was as black as a mussel shell. He swam faster than his brothers and sisters. His name was Swimmy. Do you see him? He's way over here. His brothers and sisters look like they were stamped with, with uh, paint. One bad day, a tuna fish, swift, fierce, and very hungry, came darting through the waves. In one gulp, he swallowed all the little red fish. Only Swimmy escaped. He swam away in the deep, wet world. He was scared, lonely, and very sad. But the sea was full of wonderful creatures, and as he swam from marvel to marvel, Swimmy was happy again. He saw a Medusa made of rainbow jelly. Look at how this one, the, the uh, jellyfish was painted. A lobster who walked about like a water moving machine. Strange fish pulled by an invisible thread. We use different colors of paint for those fish. A forest of seaweeds growing from sugar candy rocks. This is the, the one that I said I thought looked like lace. An eel whose tail was almost too far away to remember. And sea anemones who look like pink palm trees swaying in the wind. Then, hidden in the dark shade of rocks and weeds, he saw a school of little fish just like his own. Let's go and swim and play and see things, he said happily. We can't, said the little fish. The big fish will eat us all. But you can't just lie there, said Swimmy. We must think of something. See all the little fish? Swimmy thought and thought and thought. Then suddenly he said, I have it. We are going to swim all together like the biggest fish in the sea. I wonder how they're going to do that. He taught them to swim close, each in his own place. 
teaching them. And when they had learned to swim like one giant fish, he said, I'll be the eye. Wow, look at that. That's a big fish. So they swam in the cool morning water and in the midday sun and chased the big fish away. You see how the, the paint on this big fish, it looks like they put the paper down and then pulled it up and then because the paint does that. You know, we've done that in class. So that's the story of Swimmy. And it, it tells us a little thing about, tells us a little lesson about how we can do things if we do things together. So that's always a good thing to do is to be, have teamwork and do things together. See you later.